Hey everyone, what is up and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Abby Aslan and I post college and lifestyle based videos literally all the time so you should definitely subscribe and stick around so you can see all of the future videos to come. It has literally been over a month since I have sat down in front of a camera and filmed a video and that's mainly just because I get the best feedback and the most positive feedback and my vlogs do the best in general so I typically vlog and also vlogging is a lot easier as a really busy college student because I just take my camera along with me for the day, but I really, really, really have been missing just sitting down in front of the camera and talking, so I know, have known I wanted to film this video for quite a while, but I'm just now getting the time to like just sit down and film it, and I'm so excited to show it to you guys. And with that being said, I totally know that these videos don't do as well, but I know that there are some of you out there who really need to hear this today or really didn't know you needed to hear it but you need to so with that being said today's video I don't really know what I'm gonna title it yet because I don't really know the route I'm gonna take when I talk about this I have like bullet points and everything but I'm probably gonna go off on a few tangents pretty much I'm going to be explaining to you all why I didn't rush because I get so many questions on that but I'm not gonna make a whole video dedicated to that because there really are only like very few reasons but I'm mainly going to be explaining how to get involved in college when you're not a part of Greek life or you don't really know a lot of people and pretty much just like taking your fresh start and making the most of it. So with all that being said, let's just go ahead and get started into the reasons why I didn't rush and basically just the rest of this video. I get questions all the time on whether I'm like in a sorority or if I did rush and dropped or if um, I plan on rushing in the future and the answer is just no and really it's not um, too complex of a reason. I didn't really know a lot about it in high school. I feel like a lot of my friends like knew a ton about it and I was never really like intrigued by it, I guess you could say. I knew coming to the University of Alabama that it is like one of the most expensive schools to rush at, if not the most expensive. I didn't want to have to force myself to like get two jobs or something to pay for it and I didn't want to force myself to just be overwhelmed having to pay for it or I'm obviously not going to take out a loan for that or anything so it just was not financially reasonable for me which I know that is the case for a lot of people and this is a disclaimer I am not in any means or any way discrediting or harping on Greek life at all like that's not my intentions I'm literally just going to say why I didn't rush but I know there are so many people out there who don't rush and probably watch YouTube videos and don't really know how to get involved or meet people I just feel like rushing is one of those things you do if it makes sense for you financially and if it doesn't make sense for you you don't do it because there's no reason to take on a lot of debt for it in my opinion another reason is I like to make my own schedule and be on my own schedule and with YouTube and everything I'm really busy but I didn't even start YouTube until the end of my freshman year of college and if you all didn't know I am a sophomore here at the University of Alabama I probably should have said that in the beginning from what I've seen um rushing takes up a lot of your time mainly freshman year um a lot of my friends that are in sororities now um that are sophomores and juniors and stuff like they're not really that involved in it anymore and with all of this being said oh, most of my closest friends are in sororities so like like I said not dissing it at all just saying why I didn't going into college I feel like if I would have rushed whatever I would have gotten into probably would be completely different if I would have rushed now and I know that's weird to say but I have changed so much since the beginning of my freshman year of college like I think I could probably say I've done a 180 and I think that's just because I've become a lot more extroverted and I've become a lot more social and outgoing I also knew that going into my freshman year that just wasn't how I wanted to make my friends necessarily and granted it does give you a way to meet people very quickly and you probably will never feel alone your freshman year if you're in a sorority because you're constantly going to be surrounded by girls in your sorority or in other sororities and you don't rush you literally probably meet nobody unless you're really lucky <laughs> your first year of school and that even happens to people who do rush it really just depends on who you are and like how your sorority is and stuff i think when you're not in a sorority it takes you a lot longer to make friends but you end up making a couple friends that are you're really really close to instead of having like a ton that are from a group and you're kind of just like only close to a few of them next i'm going to talk about how i got involved personally in college and how i made friends because it took me until the end of my freshman year to meet like the first like real friend that i got and that was katie who also has a youtube channel here on youtube as you guys know and then um i gradually kind of met more people throughout the end of the year and then this year a very important thing to do that will make you feel a little bit less alone is to take the time to talk to the people you sit next to in your classes i know that you may not become like best friends with them or you may not um even 
really get their number but you will at least have a familiar face that if you see in the hallway in the future or if you just see around campus it will make you feel like you know somebody so that's like really important and it's also really important for helping you with work or if you ever want to study with someone it's just important to talk to the people you sit next to and that's something i've always tried to do another thing to do is to make friends with your roommates friends if you have roommates because i feel like i've made a lot of acquaintances and a few like actual friends through my roommates friends over the years so i just think that that kind of helps um, you get to know people as you get into your major you will start to see the same faces all the time because the class sizes get a lot smaller and once you get in those upper division classes you're pretty much going to be with the same people all the time eventually everyone just kind of gets over the whole not talking to each other in class thing like we all talk to each other in my upper division classes and that's just how it is i really did not believe that whole statement when people told me as you get more into your major like your junior year or senior year like you're gonna meet way more people and it's gonna get way easier to make friends and I really didn't believe it at all, but trust me when I say that like it does get better and as you get into your major, just be patient and you're going to meet people who have the same aspirations and goals of, as you and you'll be able to study with them, spend time with them, and it's just really great. I definitely met a lot of people just from being in classes that are specific to my major and like actually have been able to study with them and um, become friends with them and stuff, so it's really, really cool. With that being said, ask people in your class, especially those that you've had classes before, like as you go from those lower division classes to upper division classes, there will be a few people that like end up being in the same sections as you for some of your classes and ask those people to study with you like it's not like you're asking them to hang out and like go get lunch or something like just ask them to study with you and go to the library and eventually you may become best friends with them or maybe you just remain study friends but either way it's someone you know we are fortunate enough to live in a generation where we have social media and if you're not utilizing it in college to meet people then you're doing something wrong because it seriously helps so much one of my best friends julia that i know you all have seen in a lot of my vlogs she messaged me um, on instagram last year in the spring at the end of the year and we just kind of like had like a pretty similar like freshman year experience or whatever and she was just talking about it because she had like seen one of my videos and then we like hung out and now we're like really really close if you get to know somebody's name in your class go follow them on instagram and then message them and see if they want to study or go get lunch or something it's not weird like literally if you have a desire to hang out with somebody or get to know somebody do it because you're going to regret it if you just sit there and think wait on them to come and reach out to you like you need to be able to be the one reaching out to you get back what you give and that totally applies to making friends my next piece of advice is to throw yourself out there and apply to things um, that you think are interesting to you people always told me to go outside of my comfort zone and just throw myself out there to get in these clubs and stuff as a freshman but I never listened to them because I was like I'm not gonna go to a meeting where I don't know anybody and just feel really uncomfortable but as you get to know people it's okay if you don't really get involved your freshman year but definitely try your sophomore year to like make more efforts to get to know people or use the people you know to um, learn more about certain clubs that they may be in or organizations they may be in or something of that sort and once you get more into your major you'll find out a lot about organizations that are relevant to your major so they're a lot more important to get involved in than a bunch of like the random things you may do your freshman year and it's definitely important to only invest your time in a few areas and invest a lot of your time in each one instead of spreading yourself thin and doing like a million different things and only spending a little bit of time in each one it doesn't look as good on a resume in my opinion and from what i've heard it doesn't look as good so it's a lot better to just invest a lot of your time in a few different things i'm going to kind of talk about um how i'm involved on campus now and just kind of like relay that into being ways that you can get involved if that makes sense try and get a job on campus because you will meet other students and you get paid and you get to work on campus and it's really convenient this isn't the easiest thing in the world but definitely like search your job board like i know library positions are almost always open in alabama and they're not very demanding i got my ta position a lot of people ask me where i work because i'll mention it in my blogs but i don't really say what i'm doing um, I'm a teacher assistant for the Econ, Finance, and Legal Studies department here at Alabama and I just got that position this year. I enjoy it a lot. I've met so many awesome people um, that are also TAs and I pretty much just proctor exams and then I hold office hours in a little econ lab. I'm not an assistant to a specific teacher but there are TAs who are like that but I'm not one of those. I just hold office hours in the lab mainly. But with that being said, if you have time, definitely try and get involved in something on campus. I had the same econ teacher for my principles of micro class and then my intermediate microeconomics class and I always went to his class. I like never missed a day for either one of the classes and then I always sat front row and I tried to speak up in class about like answers or questions as much as I could because I really enjoyed the subject. 
and just by doing that my professor remembered me remembered my name and um kind of like elected me or i don't really recommended me that's the word recommended <laughs> recommended me to be a ta and i'm beyond thankful for the opportunity because i think it is so valuable and i'm learning a lot through it and it's a subject i really like so it's awesome this is kind of a tangent but with that being said relationships with your professors are so important literally just go to class you don't have to sit in the very front row i just like to do that because i don't pay attention if i'm not in the front row i'll sit on my phone or something so i force myself to sit front row usually get to know your professors whether you're going to their office hours and asking them for help or whether it's just answering questions in class like i did or asking a lot of questions just somehow get to know your teacher because it can really provide you with amazing opportunities. If you were super into sports in high school, definitely look into playing intramurals in college. I looked in the volleyball my freshman year, but once again, I didn't know anyone, so I was too, too scared to do it because volleyball is what I played in high school. But I know a lot of people who have like done intramurals, or I know of a lot of people that have done intramurals, and they've met a lot of people who are passionate about similar things as them, and it just gives them um, a way to play their sport. like pretty competitively without it being like too too serious. Professional fraternities are another great way to get involved or pretty much just to get to know people too. Um, I didn't really consider them um, ever honestly until my friend Julia told me about Delta Sigma Pi and it's a business fraternity here in Alabama and I know they have them at a lot of other schools as well but um, she's in it and she really enjoys it and it's really good for networking and meeting a bunch of companies and just really getting to develop your professional and business skills. Um, for me personally, obviously I wanna do that because I'm in the business college, but they have professional fraternities like across the board. So definitely look into those and those are definitely something that I would recommend getting involved in early because then maybe you could get like an officer position if you get really involved in it and, and enjoy it and stuff. There's also fraternities based on majors, like there's an accounting fraternity called Beta Alpha Psi, like you can literally just get involved in those and you will meet people with similar goals and aspirations, which is so important because you don't want to be finding your friends in like the wrong places. You want to become friends with people who are going to push you to be your best, best self and also have fun with you along the way. My next recommendation is through a church um, and a lot of college towns, they have usually one, at least one, but there's normally, I know here there's probably like two or three churches that are really, really popular for college students and it's a great place to meet amazing people, um, whether you're doing it through small groups or volunteering or just going to church and like finding a group to go to church with. It's definitely a great way to meet some amazing people. I've met some amazing, amazing, amazing college girls here and they are so fun and we did like Friendsgiving together last semester and it's so much fun and it's just like a really um, good thing to go to, like especially small, small groups because it really just de-stresses you and relaxes you and calms you down and kind of keeps your head straight. I don't know about y'all's professors, but I have some professors that literally tell us if we don't have friends in our major or like in our classes and we don't really know any of the people we sit next to, to go up to them after class and ask them to like match make us with other people, like with friends and stuff. So we'll have people to study with because it's like so important to have study groups and everything in accounting. It's just like too hard to do by yourself. Last but not least um, is to pretty much just get out of your apartment in your dorm. Um, I was pretty much just stayed in my dorm all the time my freshman year. I did like go out with my roommates or go out with my friends every now and then and went to football games with people. I never made that much of an effort to like go out and like just get lunch with people or anything. Like I literally just stayed in my dorm if I was going to be studying or whatever and I should have just like studied with people in my classes or tried to make friends with people in my classes but I really I tried but I would just get really discouraged really easily and I was really shy at first and now it's like super easy for me but um, once you start doing it, you get used to it and you kind of get out of your comfort zone a little bit and then it's a lot easier to make more friends along the way. And I say this all the time, you guys have heard me say this if you've been a subscriber for a long time, but just be patient um, and that goes for meeting people and getting involved. You don't have to throw yourself into every organization in the world your freshman year. You don't have to do anything your first semester. Like I tried to do two different programs I think my freshman year and I didn't get into them and I was really discouraged about that, but now I feel like I am and the organizations that matter the most to me, like the Lyft program here, going out in the community and helping people with like computer skills and financial literacy skills. I'm so passionate about that program and this is my third semester doing it and I just like love it so much. And then being a TA is great because I don't have to work crazy hours but I'm still getting paid to get, do what I do and I think it's giving me a really valuable experience. And I'm getting to meet a lot of people through it. And then my professional fraternity, I am still a pledge right now, but I'll be initiated soon. And I can't wait to meet all the people on there because when I was interviewing for that, they said the best part about it was getting to know people who have similar goals as you do and just like making friends through that. 
Thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe if you're not already and give this video a thumbs up if it helped you or if you enjoyed it. Let me know if you guys want to see any other sit down videos down below because I've missed doing this so much. And I will see you guys in my next video. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.